All right, I just wanted to do a quick video here showing everybody how to set up your flyer ESC. Sometimes the auto calibration settings for the radio signal don't give you 100% throttle or 100% braking. So the braking can be scaled wrong or the throttle may not get 100% or it's scaled wrong, etc., etc. So just going to go over those settings on the ESC and how to set it using your radio. Um, the other thing that you need with this is a Castle ESC and Castle Link. I um, believe there's other ways to do this, but this is the tools that I have to do this to read the signal value from the radio. So I'm just going to set the flyer ESC aside for the moment. Put my hat on here and use my hands. So we're gonna open up Castle Link. And I've already calibrated this ESC to the radio. So what I'm gonna do now is read that calibration so I know where it's at. Okay, so in Castle Link, you're gonna go to the Save Print tab. Then you're gonna do the Preview Setting List Printout. Just hit OK here, and it's going to give you this little page, which is small, so I'm going to make it bigger. And right here are your signal values, okay? So you got, let me see if I can get this close enough that you can read it here. Hopefully that works. So you got full forward is 1.934, full reverse is 1.073. So those are pretty close. The flyer just has even numbers that you can set it to. So we could set this to 1.9 for the forward, and we could set the reverse to 1.0 or 1.1, but it's still not gonna be quite 100%. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and recalibrate this, but we're gonna make some changes. So on the radio, let me make sure you can see the the radio here. So we're going to go to the endpoints. On a spectrum, it would be travel. It's the same principle, just this is Futaba for this uh, demonstration here. So forward, we kind of just have to play around with this. And you're going to basically do this calibration step a few times to get it right on. So forward we're going to change that to like let's see it was 1.934 so i'm going to go to like 110 see what it does break i'm going to go actually down a little bit i think might be the right way to go so we'll try 95 we'll see how it goes okay so this back on my head here so we're going to unplug the esc from the Castle link cord, and then let's see, I need a battery. So, what we're going to do here is basically just do an ESC calibration. So, let's see, so the ESC is turned off. I don't have a motor hooked up, so you're not going to hear any beeps on it, but uh, we can watch for the LED and we'll know where it's at. So I'm going to go ahead and hold full throttle on the radio, turn this on. Once it goes to red, now it's waiting for reverse. Then we'll go neutral, wait for it to finish, and now it's ready to go. Okay, so now we're going to shut it off. That's all we need that for now. Unplug it, unplug the battery. And we're going to plug this ESC back into the castle link. Take my GoPro off my head here. We can go back into the app. Try to get it where you can see. Okay, so we're gonna go back to save print and we're gonna do preview setting list printout. And okay, and make this bigger. 
Okay, so that got us pretty close, right? So we were at 1.93, I think, before. And we're at 1.94 now, which is almost 1.1. So we could leave it there or we can fine tune a little bit more. Um, I want to try to get it pretty close. So I'm basically going to do a little bit more on here. So I'm going to go down like two. I'm going to go up a little bit more on the forward. And we'll try that and see how that goes here. Close this out. Okay. So we are going to hook this back up and do another calibration. A little tedious, but this is how you get 100% output and the proper brake scaling if the automatic radio settings aren't working for you on the flyer. So, take that battery out of the way. Radio over here. And we'll check this again here and see where we're at. There we go. Okay, so go back to save print, preview setting, and make this a little bigger. How are we at? How are we doing here? We're pretty darn close. So I don't know if you can see its focus, but the uh, full reverse brake signal is 1.103. So that's pretty good. I'm going to leave that alone. Full forward is 1.992. So that's almost 2.0. I could probably do one more point up on the forward. So let's do that so we can get it nice and even here. We're going to go to 114 on the endpoint adjustment. We'll do one more calibration here. And then we'll check it. And I think we should be able to set our flyer. So like I said, this is definitely a little bit uh, tedious. To get this set but if you have more than one esc and you're using the same radio you only have to do this once really because you can just copy the, the settings from one model to the next for the endpoints so it would all be the same all right so full throttle i'll turn it on here so this should be the last time we have to do this Okay, now that's right. So we'll go ahead and turn this off. Unplug it from the battery here. Put the battery away over there. And hook this up to Castle Link one more time. Okay, this should be close enough, but just to show you what you do here. So now we're pretty, uh, I could go one more probably still. So it's 1.996, but that's close enough for, for now. But you can just keep you know, changing those values and you'll see if it goes up or down or, or whatever direction it changes. Um, you'll see that when you make the changes, do a calibration and then you open this up and you'll know kind of which way to go. So you can, you can see if it's close to 1.1 and go for that, or if it's, closer to 1.0 then you can adjust the endpoints appropriately for that so this is good enough for for here i mean you can keep going a little bit more but we're just going to call it so the forward i'm going to set it to 2.0 and the full reverse i'm going to set to 1.1 so let me go ahead and minimize this get this out of the way i'll just put it off to the side 
going to open up our flyer software here. Okay, so we have no ESC hooked up. I'll plug it in real quick. So we're going to match up the wires. When you're using the computer USB programming, you actually don't have to power the ESC at all. It can just be the bare ESC because the USB will give it enough power for programming reasons. So we're going to go in here and we're going to go to the throttle tab. And this right here, set forward reverse points, is what we're going to go ahead and manually set instead of being on automatic. And you can do this with the program box also. It doesn't have to be on the PC app. But this is where you'll set it. So we're going to go fixed 2.0. And like I said, 1.9 is one of the other options. We could have lowered the endpoint to get to there, but it was kind of, you know, pick one. So we went for 2.0. So I'm going to set it to 2.0 reverse point. We got it pretty close to 1.1. So we're going to set that to 1.1. And then write values to ESC. And configuration was good. So that's pretty much it. So now this flyer, I can disconnect it here. So now this flyer ESC is set up for this radio. So it knows 100% throttle, 100% reverse, where those signal values are going to be so it can react appropriately. So hopefully this helps. If you have questions, of course, let me know. Happy to help. Um, just trying to, you know, do what I can, help people out, get these things to work right, because they're pretty good ESC for bashers for the money. But at any rate, that's it. Everybody stay safe. Take care.